Forest health is a very complicated question. My name is Gary Ellingson. I am a forester with the Montana Department of Natural Resources and Conservation. So when I look at a forest, I want all the parts. I want all the native vegetation. I want all the native wildlife. For me, a healthy forest, it has some resiliency. It has some capacity to bounce back from something like a fire. Forest experience disturbance as part of their natural you know, ecology. So you want, want it to be able to bounce back and provide all the things we want. Gosh, I've been here, this will be my 26th year. And uh, this, this is Ottman Forestry's big, big project. We're not all hung up on having this perfectly green forest that's growing at this unbelievable rate you got to have a mosaic of forests. You've got to have openings that can be from fire or clear cuts. You can have shelter wood cuts. You can have seed tree cuts. The more mosaic you have, the more wildlife, the more different species of grass, forbs, and shrubs. That, that's a good question, too. You know, you're taught in school that your objective is that of what the landowner seeks to obtain. But I think, you know, we want to manage it for multiple generations, long-term sustainability. So that's, that's a core principle. We want to manage in a way that we can maintain the, the native biodiversity that's out there that we all value. I mean, I want to have those animals out there and the opportunities that come with that. You know, we have to have clean water. And then, you know, if we can produce the timber and the goods that we all use, you know, we want to be able to produce that at a rate that's sustainable as well. Everybody thinks active forest management is always about growing this perfectly green forest and everything's got to be green and healthy. In my eyes, you can look at a given stand. It doesn't mean you have to go in and do something but you might have to go in and do something in five, seven, 20, 30 years. Try and have a vision of the aspect, the species, the, the wildlife dynamics going on with it. But you have to have that vision at the end. If you manage the timber correctly, it is huge. It will grow, it will respond. And it's, it's the tree you're leaving, it's not the tree you're cutting. If your landscape is all one species, one age class, then you have the potential for things like that mountain pine beetle infestation that we experience. If your landscape is more broken up, different ages of trees, different sizes of trees, different configurations of trees, insect and diseases have a harder time moving through that landscape. It's also a really important concept in wildlife biology. If you've got a little bit of everything out there on the landscape, Correspondingly, you should have a little bit of everything out there as far as wildlife. And it's also a healthy thing from a wildfire standpoint. You know, so the fire doesn't have a continuum of, you know, heavy fuels. If it gets broken up, it has a harder time moving across the landscape. So that idea of a mosaic is, is, is something we do strive for. You know, active forest management is an important part of forest health and, and maintaining the landscape. These natural resource professionals, these people who have dedicated their lives to doing this work, are doing a good job and they need the support of the public to get this work done.